When there is talk of endangered species, the lions, African elephants, white rhinos and the bongo antelopes are usually what come to mind. But conservationists are raising an alarm over yet another rather unrecognized species in peril. There are concerns that the Rothschild giraffe could be going the way of the dinosaur. Yes. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature has included it in its list of most endangered. And even though giraffes have largely been regarded as a least concern, there are far fewer Rothschild giraffes left than the African elephants, which feature highly in the list. We have a total of 670 individuals in the wild. 430 of these are in Kenya. There are nine recognized giraffe subspecies in the world, and this is the second most endangered after the West African giraffe. The only surviving species are hanging on in small isolated populations, usually in protected areas where populations are already at a maximum, 60% here in Kenya and the rest scattered, mostly in Uganda. The Rothschild giraffes did not have enough space for survival and reproduction, and therefore, uh, we have lost the subspecies in Sudan, in Eritrea and Ethiopia. Kenya shoulders a great responsibility to conserve the remaining species since it has the majority. But even here, the numbers are dwindling fast. The surviving species are scattered in 11 national parks across the country, others in designated protected areas, such as the Giraffe Center. There are several reasons for this decline, such as poaching and reduced space for breeding, but conservationists say that habitat loss due to human activities, such as farming, is mostly to blame. Now, what has happened over the years in the country is that uh, the habitat that is very suitable for Rothschild giraffes happens to fall in areas that have very high uh, potential for agriculture. And uh, as you know, uh, the Rift Valley, uh, if you look at Nakuru, look at Eldoret, Kitale, those are high potential agricultural areas. Other than designating protected areas as conservation centers, conservation bodies and the Kenya Wildlife Service are now conducting ecological assessment of other areas that could be suitable breeding grounds, such as parks and game reserves. <laughs> Mammals throughout Africa are generally on the decline. A recent study found that even in protected areas, mammal populations have dropped by approximately 60% in 35 years. Sheila Sendeo for EcoScan.